Greetings everyone, greetings everyone, it's Mr. Shachar here. Welcome to Back to Basics. What we are doing basically, we are looking at our what we are looking at our example for. Now, what is it that we are required to prove here? We are required to prove that our A B is parallel to D E, or rather D is parallel to A B, either or. Right now, how can we go about improving that? Now, before we can even start, look, already we are given that uh here our AC is 13 centimeter, our AD is 3 centimeter, our what our B is 3.6, right? This is 3.6, and also our EC is given by 12 centimeters. So now what is this going to be? Now, which means we can start by calculating what is going to be our uh what is going to be our DE. Uh, what is going to be our DE? What is going to be our DC? Basically, this is going to be given by uh, 10 centimeter. Why is this going to be 10 centimeter? Because 13 subtract 3 gives you 10, right? Now, that's the first one. Now, secondly, what is it that you are going to have now? So, I want us to look at this. Now, we cannot do proportionality theorem here because we are not sure that our AB is parallel to DE. But one thing that we can definitely do, right? Now, uh, we can just express this ratio, right? We can start here. Look, if let's say I want to look at what is going to be my BE uh, over what my BE over my uh, EC. Let's say I look at my BE over my EC. My my BE is given by what? It's given by 3.6 uh, over what? And my uh, EC is given by what? It's given by 12. Isn't it so? And now what is this going to be? Now, when I do that, this is actually the same as what? Now, when I say 3.6 over, over over what over your 12, what is this going to be? This is actually going to be same as your 3 over 10, right? This is same as 3 over 10. How to get? And then now, what is it that I can do now from here? Uh, for an example, now here I can uh look at this, right? I, I can look at this and say, look, my what? Uh, if I can look at this. If I can say my AD now, if I can say my AD uh, over my what? My AD over my DC. Look, uh, and let's say I look at AD over DC. What is going to be this one? Now, my AD, what is AD? The AD is given by 3. And my DC, remember this was 13, so which means the DC is 10. So this is going to be 10, right? Now, what else now I can prove? Now, look. Now I can see something between these two. I can check that or I can find out that these ratios of mine are the same, right? So if these ratios of mine are equal, one conclusion that I can make, I can make conclusions that look, my PE uh, over what? Over my EC is actually the same as my AD over what? Over my DC. Altogether, why am I saying that? Because all of them are equal to 3 over 10. Then now this now that I've proven this, now I can actually now conclude that look, now my DE is going to be equal to what? My DE is going to be parallel to AP. Why? Because line uh what this is going to be a line uh dividing the two sides of your what of your triangle a uh, proportion. All right. Or oh, this is going to be line divides. The line that divides what divides the two sides. So this is the line that divides the two sides of a uh, triangle uh, what are uh, in proportion. So basically that's going to be that, right? Because of that, this side is in proportion with what? With this side and also this is in proportion with this. I can conclude that now these particular sides are what? Are going to be parallel. So basically, that's what I'm required to do in this example uh, four. Let's look at example five. Look at example number five. In number uh example number five, we are given that in triangle ACD and triangle ADE, BG is parallel to CD and GF is parallel to DE. They want us to prove that BF is parallel to CE. They want us to prove that BF, right? Uh, this particular side, your BF is parallel to what? Uh, to uh, DC. How to get? So basically, that's what they want us to prove in here. Or rather to CE. These particular lines are parallel to each other. Now, how can you go about improving that? Now, firstly, it is important to note that, look, if let's say I want to look at my AG, right? 
I can say, look, my AP, let me not say AP, but let, yes, AP over, what? AP over my BC is going to be equals what? My AP, which means this proportionality over my BC is same as what? Is same as my what? Is same as my AG here uh, over my what? It's same as my AG over my GD. I would to get because of these lines that are parallel to each other. Can you see that? Now, so which means I'm saying this is going to be same as my AG over what? Over my GD. How to get? And what is going to be the reason behind that? This is going to be because of what? This is because of proportionality theorem. How to get? Now, uh, and then now, what is it that I can uh, say from proportionality theorem? It's because my PG is parallel to CD. How to get? Now, what else I can say now? Look, the same is true. My AF. I can also say, look, my AF over what? My AF over my FE. My AF over my FE is going to be in proportion with what? So now I am saying this AF over my FE is also going to be in proportion again with what? My uh, what? My AG over my GT is still in proportion uh, behind that, right? It's still in proportion with my AG over my GRD. And then what is it that I'm looking uh, at here when I look at these particular uh, two sides. Now, I am looking at what? I am looking at this particular triangle. AG, or rather look, it's AG over my DG, not this other one, right? Yes. So why is it that the case? Because of what? Because of my AG is, or rather because of my GF parallel to DE, right? So this is going to be prop theorem. Why is this proportionality theorem? Because of my what? My GF is parallel to DE. My GF is parallel to what? To my DE. And now after that, what is it that I can uh, conclude? Look, both of these are equal to this particular thing, right? Let me just, uh, you know, highlight this. Look, my AG uh, and uh, over GT, I also have my AG over a, uh, GT, right? So which means I can just provide conclusion that, look, my AB over what? My AB over BC is equals to my AF over FE. How to get, right? What is going to be the reason? Because both are equal to what? Both are equal to what? Both of them are equal to my AG over my what? Over my GT. How to get? So that's going to be the reason behind that, right? Now, uh, so basically that's going to be that. So which means after then I have proven that then I can uh, I can what I can then now conclude that look my BF I can conclude that look my BF therefore is going to be parallel to my CE my BF I uh, is going to be parallel to what to my CE why because line drawn are uh, parallel to the other side of the triangle makes these two particular sides to be in proportion right remember I've proven that these sides now. I've proven that this side and this side is in proportion with the side and this side, right? So, yes, then it's going to be line. The reason it's going to be line divides what? That divides the what? This is the line that divides the two sides. Where are the two sides of triangle? It's what? It's in proportion, right? So, basically, that is going to be the reason behind that. Hopefully now uh this uh what I'm doing here makes sense to and you're in a position that you can understand all this particular example. Thank you very much.